So we're currently on day one of peak week, um, starting at a low carb day with the food. So just keeping everything the same, we're not changing anything too drastic at the moment. The only thing that I've changed is uh, no salt on any food and I've changed to Evian water. Um, so that means it's less sodium in there to normal tap water. And it's the last leg day today, which I am glad about, to be honest. <laughs> Um, because we've been doing three leg days a week, which is pretty brutal. So yeah, uh, last upper body session tomorrow with my PT um, and we're just doing walking for cardio now. I've been doing uh, AM fasted walking on a treadmill uh, through this last few weeks since I competed at Skegness um, and then I've been doing PM uh, before my last meal on a bike. So we're now ditching the bike, we're on walking. Now, that is because I feel like that that pumps a lot of water into my legs uh, and blood into my quads particularly. And so if we do that this week, that means that then we're holding water on the quads and you're not gonna see as much detail on show day. With regards to work, I am working still, just reducing my hours slightly. Obviously I've got a team. Uh, I'm just functional, just, no it's all good, um, but yeah when well, you've got your own business obviously you can't just leave it, you can't just go down and leave for two weeks, but priorities for this week is to get my posing practiced more and routine really polished off with really the squeezing into those poses, um, getting enough rest, reducing stress uh, for cortisol because cortisol um, creates a response in your body where it holds water so that it can make you look not as sharp. I would also like to say that something happened to me last night. <laughs> my bikini broke. I tried my old bikini on from six years ago, which that's too big, but it's doable. But no stress, uh, the lady who made it for me is local and she's fixing it. I'm going uh, there today to get that fixed, so that's all cool. But I still will be taking the spare bikini with me just in case, I think, and my posing bikini. Um, the hard work is done now, uh, nearly. So I'm not going to get much leaner than this. I wouldn't have thought for sure that I'm currently around 6.5% body fat. Um, I might drop half a percent, a percent maybe, um, with the water took out of there. Uh, but for female, that's very, very low. So it's just about keeping those energy reserves um, in there, keeping some glycogen in the muscle to make sure I'm looking nice and full. Carb up starts Thursday, so I'm looking forward to that. So we've got three day low carb. So yeah, we'll see what the rest of the week brings with regards to the roller coaster that is prep. Um, I've got an amazing team around me both in picture perfect in work and also um, on in terms of like coaching and personal trainers. It's going to be, I don't know, well what, what happens? What is my life? I don't know. What's happening? It's going to be good, I think. <laughs> I think. If you want to ask me anything as well, just send me a message or a comment. <laughs> um, next week we have peak week. I can't even speak. The <laughs> it don't matter. We're on prep. Next week we have peak week number two. So we're doing two shows back to back. We're doing MPA this week, both natural shows. So MPA this week, and next week we're doing UK DFBA, both qualifiers to qualify for the British finals, which is exciting. Um, so stay tuned for more peak week prep tips, journey, whatever you want really. An insight into my crazy life uh, while also trying to run a business.